I'm Janice Singram. I'm the Minister to Women here at the branch. I've been here for the past four years. One of the reasons why I uh, serve women in particular is because of the unique issues that we share. As a child, um, I was raised by a minister and in that experience, he also molested me. From the time I was a little child, my sister was born into our family when I was uh, 15 months old, and at that time I became his. And so for the next uh, 12 years, he molested me repeatedly as part of just a normal um, facet of my life. And so I, I had to live in two different worlds. There was the world of um, abuse, there was the world of sexual perversion, and then there was the public life where I could, I could function on a high level. Um, certainly it um, came to a head when I had my own little girl, Jessica, who goes to church here with us now. And when I had Jessica, I began to realize what an atrocity I had experienced. Up to that time, it had just been a normal part of being um, Janice Ingram. And when I had Jessica, it became very clear to me that what I had experienced was very wrong and very, um, very much a violation. At that point, in essence, I had a nervous breakdown and it became very difficult to uh, parent Jessica. And yet, through it all, God has been very merciful. Um, the beauty of being in this particular position is that I'm privy to so many stories that are in our community. And when I watch them struggle with the challenges that um, being molested affords them as an adult, I'm able to go along with them through their journey, find that child, the little girl that was molested, find her wherever she is. She may be trapped under a sink. She may be hiding under the covers. She's found in different places. She may be in the locker of a gym room. She may be in the back of a car. But wherever she is, the woman can take me there. And when we find her and we expose what the enemy has done, we invite Jesus Christ into that moment and we redeem it through the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. And the lies that have been spoken to the women the things that they have believed about themselves, others in the world are dashed in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ because He has never left us. He will not leave us. He will not forsake us. He never left us as orphans. But He is always there, always there to protect, to redeem and restore everything that the enemy is going to take from us. We are in a fallen world. My dad was a fallen man, but God did not forget me. God is my father, and he is your father, too. My dad chose to molest me, my older brother and my younger brother, and other women in the church. He chose to do that. That was not something God would ever put upon his heart to do. That was strictly from the devil. It was evil, as evil as it can be. I love my dad. I love him to this day, and I forgive him for all that he has done. But the atrocities that he has caused were not from the Lord. They were from his own heart that became perverted at some point in his childhood, I assume. But God has taken that and God has redeemed it over and over again in the lives of others, in my marriage, and with my children. There is a reason. Did God make that happen? I don't think so. Is God using it to his glory? Absolutely. Absolutely.